Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today is the first time I've recorded a video since Easter Sunday. And for those of you who don't know, my husband Mike had a massive stroke on Easter. It affected the right side of his body and all of his speech. So it, it was a time when I really needed to spend time with my family and with him and help him to recover the most that he could possibly recover during that time. Now, I do want to tell you that with the latest update for your machine, this version, first it came out as 3.5, now it's 3.51. Anybody who is familiar with software knows anytime there is a, like a 3.5, 4, 3.5, it means that there's a major change. Anytime you see a 0.51, it means it's something that's small and incremental to it. Possibly they found something that uh, they needed to correct, and so they quickly released it. Because I did not have my machine on for a long time, one of the things that I had to do is reconnect to my LAN. And then after a few minutes, I selected update manually and it loaded it. Now you'll notice that what it's telling me is to install the update, turn the machine off and hold the automatic threading button and turn the machine on. Anytime you do this and you're loading these update files, you want to make sure that you do not turn your machine off during that time. So if there was a thunderstorm or if you're, you have power surges, make sure you, first of all, have a surge protector. I keep my machine unplugged when I'm not using it because we do have thunderstorms in our area. Now what I'm going to do is I'll quickly follow the instructions and I want you to pay attention over here where I have the automatic threader button. I'll turn my machine off. I'll hold down the automatic threading button and I'll turn the machine on. You'll get the prompt and you can, you can either update your machine with the USB stick. You could go to uh, Brothers website. I go to Brothers Support for my machine. It's the XP1. You do want to choose which version you have. And then I might download that file onto a USB stick. If I do that, I have to make sure that that USB stick doesn't have any other data on it. So you want to make sure that you remove that data and you have a clean USB stick. Since I downloaded this wirelessly, I'll choose the wireless option and now I'll press load. Now when I do this, I want to make sure that I follow the instructions on the machine. As your file is loading, you will notice that the light on the head of your machine is going to change from green to amber to red. This is an indication that it's processing. And you'll notice at some points it may seem rather slow and then it speeds up. And that is because the size of the files that are included in this update, some of them are very large. So it takes some time for your, your sewing machine, I was going to say computer, but in this case it is a sewing machine that has a computer built into it. It takes some time for it to read and verify those files. As it goes through this process, you want to wait till you get the message that tells you to turn your machine on and off again. So we'll wait a few minutes and we'll watch this process so that we can see what happens when it finally updates the file. And you'll notice some numbers down on the bottom of the screen where you see upgrade version don't worry about those numbers and it will say upgrade complete. It is actually an update for those of us who are getting the new scan and cut. It is indeed like an upgrade for our luminaires. So I'm excited about that. So once the update is complete, it's time to turn your machine off and turn it back on again. It'll ask you to read the 
document and, and we can close this. This is a software agreement. When you complete the process, if you go to page seven of your settings page, and your settings page is up here on the top, you'll notice that you see scan and cut my connection. So just like kit one and kit two, if you purchase the upgrades, the scan and cut my connection is like an upgrade for your machine. And in order to get access to that, you'll have to have your access code. You'll also notice that I'm now at version 3.51. I hope this video is helpful to you. Please join me and my group in Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire on Facebook. And thank you for your time today. I look forward to recording more of these videos. Bye and have a great day.